The Mantria Corporation Ponzi scheme has been described as the biggest green energy scam in United States history. It has gone unprosecuted by the Department of Justice, though a federal judge in the Securities and Exchange Commission's civil case found Mantria had scammed more than $54.5 million by egregiously, recklessly, knowingly, and shamelessly perpetrating a fraudulent scheme that used misrepresentations, omissions, and blatant lies to induce unsuspecting and unwitting victim investors to liquidate the equity in their homes and take out bank loans to invest in defendant's scheme, which was nothing more than smoke and mirrors. On November 16, 2009, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged four people who targeted those nearing retirement age who were seeking real estate and «green» investments. Many of these securities were offered by Mantri Corporation. The SEC said Mantri's environmental and real estate initiatives had not generated any significant profits, and returns paid to investors had been funded from other investors' contributions. They targeted those nearing retirement age to finance the «green» Initiatives of Mantri Corporation, such as a carbon negative housing community in rural Tennessee, waste to energy plants, and a bioca charcoal substitute made from organic waste. Mantri Corporation operated using 55 different LLCs in the scheme, which made it very difficult for investigators to follow the funds. Topic: <laughs> Mantri Corporation. Mantri Corporation described itself in numerous press releases and on the web as a $128 million company focusing on green community development, socially responsible investing, distressed real estate fund management, mortgage banking, renewable energy, music and entertainment and philanthropy. Mantri also described its foundation called Mantri Green, a set of pioneering principles for developing premium land and real estate with carbon emission offsetting and environmentally conscious design. Some of the companies Mantria operated as include, Mantria Corporation, Mantria Industries, Eterna Green, Carbon Diversion, Mantria Realty, Mantria Communities, Mantria Investments, Mantria Records, Eterna Green Global, Earthmate Technologies, Eterna Green Capital, Clean Energy Components and many others. Based outside of Philadelphia in Bala Kinwood, Pennsylvania, Mantria Corporation had additional offices in Tennessee and Florida. <laughs> Mantria and Speed of Wealth, LLC. <laughs> Mantria offered its investments primarily through Speed of Wealth, LLC and its principles. <inaudible> Mantria Ponzi scheme On November 16, 2009, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged four people who targeted those nearing retirement age who were seeking real estate and green environmentally friendly investments. Many of these securities were offered by Mantria Corporation. The SEC said Mantria's environmental and real estate initiatives had not generated any significant profits, and returns paid to investors had been funded from other investors' contributions. In July 2011, Denver's 5280 magazine wrote about Mantria and Speed of Wealth in The Biggest Green Scam in America. On August 5, 2011, after nearly 21 months, federal judge Arguello ruled the Mantria case a Ponzi scheme. Arguello called Mantria a Ponzi scheme operating with sociopathic greed. The judge was to the point in stating that Mantria scammed more than $54.5 million by egregiously, recklessly, knowingly, and shamelessly perpetrating a fraudulent scheme that used misrepresentations, omissions, and blatant lies to induce unsuspecting and unwitting victim investors to liquidate the equity in their homes and take out bank loans to invest in defendant's scheme, which was nothing more than smoke and mirrors. On September 3, 2015, the Department of Justice charged three people affiliated with the Mantria Ponzi scheme. Those accused are Mantria Corporation founders and executives Troy Rag and Amanda Knorr, as well as unlicensed securities broker Wade McKelvey. The charges included conspiracy to commit wire fraud, conspiracy to commit securities fraud, securities fraud and seven counts of wire fraud. In Georgia Troy Rag had been arrested and Wade McKelvey was arrested in Colorado. Amanda Knorr will turn herself in at a later date. On May 24, 2016, Amanda Knorr pleaded guilty to two charges of conspiracy, seven counts of wire fraud, and one count of securities fraud. Knorr may receive a maximum prison sentence of 240 years, a fine of $12.5 million, and/or an order make full restitution. Sentencing was expected to take place on November 3, 2016, but has been rescheduled for after the Wade McKelvey trial that begins on September 12, 2017. A change of plea hearing occurred on March 2, 2017 where Troy Rag pleaded guilty to 10 counts of conspiracy, wire fraud and securities fraud. 
The maximum penalty is 240 years in prison, five years supervised release, a $12.5 million fine, and a $1,000 special assessment. Sentencing has been rescheduled for after the Wade McKelvey trial that begins on September 12, 2017.